Could a 1990 quarter be rare and valuable? Sure it can, but only if you know what to look for. So we will talk about 1990 quarters you should know about right after this. Hey YouTubers, this is JNB, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency, we have new videos every day, and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or find that one valuable coin that can change your life. In this video, we will talk about 1990 quarters struck at the Philadelphia and Denver Mints only. Business strike quarters, regular quarters that you use in everyday transactions. The quarters struck that year are very special and rare to some extent, and we will talk about it. Now, the Philadelphia Mint struck 6.1 million quarters that year, and the Denver Mint struck over 9.2 million of them. It's a huge number. So there's nothing special about their mintage. So what is it that makes them so special? Well, none of them have graded in really high grades. The highest grade known until the time of making this video for quarters struck at the Philadelphia Mint is MS-67. Yes, MS-67 only. So in MS-67 condition, it is really scarce, with less than a dozen known in that grade and none finer. This coin is the latest sale. It's graded MS-67 and it's sold for $1,450, almost $1,500 for a quarter in MS-67 grade. Imagine the price for the first quarter in a higher grade. And surprisingly, the same goes for the 1990D quarters struck at the Denver Mint as well. This coin is the latest sale also, and this quarter is graded MS67+, plus, which is the highest grade known for quarters struck at the Denver Mint. It's sold at Heritage Auctions for $1,440. So these coins are the one. You can make a super nice profit if you can find them in even slightly higher grade than MS67 Plus for a 1990p quarter, for example. You need to search rolls and 1990 uncirculated mint sets to find coins in better than MS67 Plus grades. Not everybody is even looking for them. It's hard to believe that in 29 years, nobody found quarters in a higher grade than that. We truly believe that the 1990 quarter, being an ordinary clad quarter, without any known errors on them, are not getting enough attention. We recently bought some uncirculated mint sets and are planning to search through them. So should you. They're very easy to obtain and cheap. Now, in this video, we're not talking about the 1990 S quarters, which were struck at the San Francisco Mint, obviously a proof quarter, struck only for collectors, and sold originally from the U.S. Mint only in proof sets. Not because they're not special, not rare, nor worth money. Actually, quite the opposite but we recently did a short video on the super valuable 1990S quarter and we'll link it in the left corner of this one. The 1990S quarters are very desirable, so definitely watch the video about them. Also, we have a question for you. Would you ever expect a 1990 quarter to be so valuable in not super high grades? please let us know in the comments section below this video. 
We read all of your comments. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.